like Teddy Gray on stuff. Wushi gives a proper reaction. And now for something completely different. Also, again, so NF Julia Michaels gone. I don't know who Julia Michaels is. I don't know if you guys do either, and I don't know if she's featured on tracks with him in the past. However, we're gonna get into this now. Hit the live chat, come and talk to your boy, and let's go. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, we saw my glasses. Half empty, was never full. You were always passive. He said that before, like about the, the glass being half empty and half full. He said, um, you should start to put water in yourself and then make it full. That's what he said. See, again, contradicting himself. I've always thought of the glass as half full, half empty, right, right, right. Well, if you've always thought that, then why did you say previously in a song that if your glass is half full, you should fill it? Contradiction. Bag of people are, I don't see the contradictions. Where is it? It's there. Just listen. Oh, we saw my glasses. Half empty was never full. You were always passive. And I was irresponsible. Didn't have a chance, but we were scared to let things go. Young in love, broken hearts, holding on to our false hope. Had your whole life planned out. I had no clue who I was. Gave it all we had, but guess I all wasn't enough. Wonder where you're at now. Did you ever find the one? Hope you're out there somewhere happy. Sometimes I think of you. Yeah, yeah. And it makes me sad. But I'm glad you did It was for the best I pray someday You find yourself Somehow, someway With someone else Don't wait It's a very nice song and I like, I like the direction that it's headed in I've just always been very confused and kind of weirded out by anybody who's in a long-term relationship currently but still even thinking about previous relationships that they've had i don't know if that's just me i personally find that very weird you know he could potentially be talking from like a third person narrative you know but the running theme with nf songs besides maybe story was that they're all based on him how he thinks how he feels his life they've all been very personable you know so why is he thinking about some random woman while he's while he's got a missus and a kid well, not some random woman, some woman that he's already been with. He's just randomly having thoughts about her. It's a bit suspect. I know. Maybe we'll find something out. There's always a story, right? It's too late to keep holding on. Uh, I'm already gone. We just went right, we planned a whole life when we both knew We should have just ended on the first night And I know if I would have stayed with you I would have been down on luck and done with love And done too much to make you stay Second guessing and resenting all the love I could have gave to someone else 
like a carpal tunnel from holding on to what we once felt. I'm happy for you. Wait, I got carpal tunnel from holding on to what we once felt. That's a fire bar from Julia Michaels. Well done, man. I like that. I like the way that uh, that this Julia Michaels came on into the track. Um, there was a certain light that was brought onto the track by her voice. It's a very nice palatable voice. But also that bit that was like a pause, then piano, then a, a, a heavy synth and drop. Um, I assume that's supposed to give the feeling of like restlessness and constant dramatic change maybe within the relationship or after it had ended it's very different i'm not sure if i enjoy it on first listen but it is different something that definitely catches your attention and it's not something that i've heard played around with a lot because it can be quite annoying that like sudden stop i don't know if if it's the human ear but my ear sort of when music stops, my ears like adjust to like a, a bass volume again. And then it goes straight back up. And it, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of it right now, but it might, it might change in the future. I am, you don't get me wrong, I am. And once in a while, it's true. I think about you too. Yeah, I do. I think about you too. to take that to be honest like i say I, I know that he's done this before and i know that artists the world over do it you know um jason derulo for example his first hit uh, was what you say production by jr rotor fire uh but what you say was was actually written by jason derulo about his brother who had cheated on his missus so Jason Derulo never actually cheated, and yet he released a song about him cheating, and he never actually cheated. Because I remember back like 2009, I think it was. <clears throat> 2009? I think so. Um, maybe 2010. But everybody was like, oh, Jason Derulo, fuck him, he's a, he's a cheater. He didn't even cheat. He was, he, was, he was singing about somebody else. So maybe that's what Nate's doing. Because I hope that he's not, he's not just had Beckham with his wife and now he's, he's writing songs about having feelings for, not having feelings for, that's a, it's a misrepresentation, but even thinking deeply about a relationship that he once had, I don't know, it's a little bit weird that he, not that you shouldn't care about people that you were once with, but I don't know. I just think it's, an, it's it's very weird whilst you've got like a whole life of your own and a, you have a woman to be thinking about and focusing on because I don't really hear Nate do songs about his wife you know 
saying that there's, there's probably going to be one in it now that I've said that. But I don't, I don't really hear that from Nate, so... For him to dedicate an entire song to a past love seems a little bit weird. But that's just me. Bullet, coming next. Yeah.